What's up, YouTube? We are about to play the Trailblaze Continuous Quest with Ruan May, and I am going to go absolutely feral for this. Okay, let's start, guys. Let's start. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Oh, I love the Astral Express. Uh, the I space thought station. Number four, Poka Kakamon, had gotten rid of most of the society members. I didn't have a lot of hope for this. Oh, look who's here. Kitty, thank you for the raid. <laughs> I just turned off alerts. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for the raid. Thank you. I appreciate you, gamer. <laughs> Hold on. Where's my kazoo? Where'd I put it? Where's my kazoo? Hello? Thank you for the raid, everyone. Hi, hello. My name is Mina. Uh, we're going to. We're about to play the Trailblaze Continuous Quest over here. Uh, I really, I, I appreciate the raid. I appreciate the raid. Uh, 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 hi, hello. I, I do have alerts off, so we can try to focus on the story. We literally just started. This is like the first dialogue option. Um, but here's a massive kazoo for you guys. Are you ready? Once again, thank you, thank you. And now I will continue on with the story quest. You're back. <laughs> oh my god, Asta. Dude, I kind of missed Asta. Of course. This is a summit between three geniuses. It's a special time. All departments are preparing to welcome distinguished guests from the Genius Society. I'm so excited for these distinguished guests. Madam Ron May doesn't like fanfare and probably wouldn't appreciate a crowd to welcome her, so I asked the researchers to keep things simple. God, I'm so excited for her. I took her to see the portraits of the Society members a few days ago. I wanted to have the researchers make one for her as well, but she declined the offer. Wait, Herdo wanted to make one of Ruan May? Okay. Okay, Herda. Okay. I don't get it. Oh, whatever. As long as she's happy. Since when has Herda cared about other people's feelings? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Since since when has has Herda cared at all about other people? I heard Miss Ron May like snacks and pastries, so I asked the researchers to prepare some traditional desserts from the blue. All of them seemed to tickle her fancy. Oh my god, I want her to tickle my fancy. Would I be able to meet Ruan May? Is Ruan May a great person? Okay, okay, do I start? Do I do I start with the simp and be like, would I be able to meet her? Or should I try to get their opinion on Ruan May by being like, oh, is she a great person? I feel like, I feel like, I feel like getting like maybe like her opinion on Ruan May, you know. But then I'd be, like, but I kind of want to meet her. Like, oh, like. Okay, okay, okay. Number one, number one. Of course, go find her yourself. Oh, I'll she find her. Face flame to do some research as soon as she got here. I haven't seen a trace of her since. Miss Ron May is the very image of a scholar. I heard she once took a little vacation on a desert planet. By the time she left, she'd miraculously created a boom in the local ecology. This is giving Mean Girls. When, like, they're talking about Regina George. It's like, one time, Regina George punched me in the face. And it was awesome. She just wanted somewhere uninhabited to experiment with her life spiral system. Ron May is certainly very talented, but she hardly interacts with anyone. She lives like a hermit. Pity. Why is it a pity, Herda? I feel like Herda's personality is completely different right now when it involving Ruan May. Anyway, what more needs to be said for someone smart enough to become Herda's research partner, hmm? Hurry up and head out! Huh? See if you can find her. Where's Ruan May right now? Well, I'm not sure, but she doesn't seem to get around much. She spends most of her time between the master control zone and the railway platform. Maybe you can start your search there. Oh my god, thank you, Asta. I love Asta. Oh, who's texting me? You already know me? Huh? Invited take ultimate to the face to the group chat. <laughs> what? Okay, invited spill. Looks like we're in for some juicy news. 
<laughs> take ultimate to the face. <laughs> Don't leak this from the chat, guys. Shh. Ron May is coming to the space station. Rich know it? Is... Who is... She's already here. You're getting slow with your gossip. Bill Portcullis. We're still preparing the welcome ceremony. Ruan May doesn't appreciate it. I heard she's a loner, even among the geniuses. So all our work was for nothing. Why didn't you give a heads up <laughs> ahead of the time? Her to also turn the blind eye to what she does. That's the big shot special treatment. It's okay. Stop working hard. This is what you get when you work hard, gamers. Don't work hard. Apparently, Miss Ruan May's personality isn't all that great. What? Word? Is there ever a genius who's normal? Screwlum seems pretty chill. Okay, fine. I give you that. <laughs> Damn, Screwlum got programmed to be chill, though. Ooh. Has this always been the icon for Trailblaze Continuances? That looks new. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I'm not ready. I'm not okay. I need to sit up. We're about to meet Ruan May. I'm 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 scared. I'm scared. Whew. Whew. Guys, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this. I, I I'm not I'm not I'm not emotionally emotionally spiritually ready for what's about to occur right now. There's someone next to the railway platform. Could she be... God, I love Stell's voice. <gasps> I see her. No, it triggered already. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> oh. I hope I didn't startle you. Um! Um! <sighs> I'm okay. Oh! Oh! She just fingered me? Like, no permission, no nothing? Dude, dude, and like Stell's reaction was to like poke her back in the face. Oh my god, and like her face right now, dude. <gasps> she is so pretty. She is so freaking pretty. Oh my god, like, and why is she looking at Stell like this? I, I can't handle this. This is a work habit of mine. Using touch to open my senses and letting the details of your biological existence flood into my brain helps me understand your construction as a living organism. It, is this how like smart people flirt? Is my IQ too low to understand this plane of flirting? I. Such is the basis of deconstruction Gosh, so and reconstruction. High. Do not be concerned. You are very healthy. In fact, impeccably so. A perfect experimental specimen. I like perfect experimental specimens. Um. Oh. Uh, um. A perfect experimental specimen. I like perfect experimental specimens. She essentially just said, I like you. You guys. She she literally just... She she basically just said that she likes me after fingering my neck. Like... Like, oh my god, she's perfect. She's actually perfect. We finally meet. There's a bit of cake on the corner of your mouth. Oh my god, yeah, we should let her know that we're looking there. Are we gonna wipe it off? Oh, really? 
God. I expect the views here had me lost in thought. She's so breathy. I don't usually go in and out of the space station and only discovered today that it was blessed with such calm, open views. It is a wonderful fit for the sweet fragrance of lotus leaves, plum blossoms, sticky rice, and frosting sugar. Huh? Come here. Look, okay. The blue planet is directly below us. This it is, is so, so romantic. Life. This dessert is very delicious. Here, take half. Oh my God, are you gonna feed me, bro? Bro, she, I, I feel, I feel like she likes me. Am I, am I being delusional? I, I, I feel, this feels really romantic in like a really weird way. Like we just walked up and all of a sudden I'm being rizzed up beyond belief in like the most scientific way posh, like possible. Like I, 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 I think she, I, I, like she's like feeding me, like she wants me. I'm gonna take a bite. Oh my God. Delicious desserts remind people of how flowers look when they bloom. Huh? Ingest this dessert one bite at a time, and the sweetness will linger in your mouth. Oh my god, oh my god, your sweetness will linger in my mouth. I hope you like it too. Oh my god, I love you. You ate Ruan May's snack. So, what do you think? I can certainly prepare more for you become somewhat of a tradition to bring strawberry pastries when I visit Stephen Lloyd. His attendance seems quite dependent on them. Oh, I'm mentally allergic to strawberries. Hmm, an outstanding dessert. Ten grams of cubed sugar, one dried and salt-preserved plum blossom. Baking and cooking Why does she are the same like in a universe. The heat must be controlled, planning must be meticulous, and one must not panic. No matter what happens. What does that mean? What does that mean? Unfortunately, there are still too many people in the space station. The clamor is not fitting for desserts. Dude, her bag art. By the way. By the way, what? Do you remember what my research is about? Why'd you put research in quotation marks? I. Only that it's about biology, something about nurturing life forms. Um, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with nurturing life. Oh my I cannot focus when she's looking at me like this. You guys, I, I can't like make direct eye contact with my screen. Like truly, I'm going through it right now. I'm gonna say something about nurturing life forms. But I also kinda wanna do about biology but like okay, like I know that you're like a researcher, but how about we study anatomy together? Or maybe even chemistry. Okay, I'm gonna go with life forms. I'm gonna go with life forms. No, my research area is short stories about toilets. What? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Did I not do the? Wait. Hello. Wait, 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 wait. I picked. I picked the the like about life forms. Why did? Why would? Why is she talking about short stories and toilets? Also, she spoke. And why is she smiling like this? I'm confused. What's happening? Uh, what's going on? What am I talking about? <laughs> I see. What a cute hobby. Dude, she... I talked about toilets and she still wants me? I talked about toilets and she still wants me? She called me cute, bro. She called me cute. But remember, the next time something like this happens, it's crucial to mask your expression until you've ascertained the situation. If not, you'll be full of weaknesses that others can see through. Um. Uh. Let's try again. Now, what else would you like to ask? What do you mean? What did you do to me? What did you feed me? Ooh, I'm gonna go with, uh, what do you, uh, what did he do to me? The dessert was tasty. I would like more. Um. <gasps> Excuse me. W why can't I say what I want to say? <laughs> you 
have quite the appetite. All right, I'll give you the recipe. Oh my god. Come and have a walk with me. A stroll is the most appropriate post-dessert activity. Is she trying to hold my hand? No. As the masses depart, there's an enveloping calm here. Just like in the no man's land I've entered to in the past. Can you imagine a completely lifeless world? From there, you can glimpse the stars that lie at the very edge of the horizon. Following its celestial trajectory, the Great Teal Star illuminates an endless sea of white across both the sky and land. My mother and I navigated calm glaciers, looking for signs of life on that world, and encountered many bizarre phenomena. It was like finding the single correct piece in a mountain of jigsaw pieces. And the process was convoluted and unimaginably difficult. But it was touching and enthralling as well. My apologies. It appears my words have left you perplexed. Please, don't be on edge. I bear no ill will. I haven't interfered with your linguistic faculties. Such an act would be impolite. I merely made a minor adjustment. Um... Uh, I, uh, she said the word mother. Wait, all the other dialogue choices go. Uh, I, I, she, she, she did, she did mention, uh, something about her mother at some point. What color are her, 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 her eyes? Um, Purple. A few days ago, I made my interest in you known to Herta. My intention is for you to serve as an assistant. Based on our interactions within the simulated universe, I firmly believe you fit the bill. Um, actually, Ruanmei, this is a goddamn lie because I have never once gotten your event from Simulated Universe. And I've been playing since day one, and I've been doing Simulated Universe every single week, and you have never shown up. So this is a bold-faced lie because we have never once interacted in Simulated Universe. Just saying. Just saying. I don't do swarm. <laughs> I find extending trust beyond myself is challenging. A single error in detailed research can generate issues, and I despise matters that escape my control. I'll always be in your control. Therefore, I added anti-truth serum to this dessert. It will not harm you. However, you will us? be unable to say what you truly think when answering questions related to me. She, 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 mm. huh, you know, we'll work on that, um, that's not okay to drug, uh, to drug me, uh, without my consent, a little, a little silly, we can work past this, we can work past this, just understand you're not allowed to do that, and, and, and we'll, and we'll go, we'll go, we'll, we'll, we'll work through this. Treat it as a layer of protection. This will shield my research and your personal safety. Once the problems have been dealt with, I'll give you the antidote. Oh, we're going to have this problem for a while. I can also reward you as compensation for being my assistant. Oh. I will fulfill your every wish. Every wish? Um, I will fulfill your every wish. Okay. Problems? You don't trust me? I'm still upset. Hmm. Okay, I'll go with I'm still upset. I want to see if she'll like, what she'll do to like pacify me, you know? Then I'll grant you even greater rewards. Um, uh, like, like what? Like, like, like what? 
<laughs> oh my god. When I first arrived on the space station, I borrowed the face flame from Herta. It's an invention of member number 29 circle. I hope to be enlightened by other society members' results. A surge of creativity led me to explore the cultivation of life on the space station. I mean, if you're so interested in, uh, in, in cultivating life, I mean, after that, the finger action, bro, put me in a room with Ruan Mei and, and I'm coming up pregnant. In my imagination, these life forms would be a new variety that are born as geniuses. I plan to name them after Lambda, member number eight of the Genius Society. I don't know where it went wrong. They possess their own sentience, but are nowhere near geniuses. Moreover, my free-range approach seems to have backfired. In a lab leak incident a few days ago, some of these little life forms ran away Aww. and scattered all over the space station. Wait, when she says free range approach, does that just mean she's an absent mother? I do not wish for her to or Asta to be involved in this. Therefore, I'm hoping you can assist in recovering these little life forms. You can try trusting me, you know. Why don't you want them to know? Okay. Hmm. I kind of want to go I kind of want to go with number one you can try trusting me you know to like really get her to trust me you know what's what's the best I mean like okay I'll just I'll go with number one I do trust you oh okay this has nothing to do with them besides it has something to do with me the more people involved the more problems there will be the researchers are still treating these entities as visitors. I want to steer clear of making my presence known, so as not to cause undue disturbances. Gosh, she knows she's hot. I entrust this to you. Once the little life forms are collected, simply find a proper place for them. The researchers in the Department of Ecology should know about this and provide you with suitable advice. Oh my god. <laughs> a little unfair how come the girls in in star rail get belly buttons but they nerf shenha's belly button feels a little unfair if you ask me dude i don't know there's something about like her waist that just like looks really nice all right let's go get Oh my god, they're, they're, they're touching fingers. Are you cheating on March 7th? No. No, I'm just looking. I'm I'm just I'm just looking. Bro, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. Oh my god. Oh, okay, okay, we'll go play the game. Okay, no more no more distractions. We'll, we'll go play. Not cheating because same wait. element. Where to now? Where to now? Alright, to go down there. Oh, there were stairs on the other end. Okay. What? Place where the space station stores dangerous experimental results why would anyone want to know that 
Wait. Did someone send you here to try to get things out of me? Uh... I'm not doing any private business on the space station. I have absolutely no knowledge of any special hiding places. And I certainly haven't sold any old junk rare treasures or discarded curios or anything like that. I didn't even ask. Ruan May asked me to do this. Uh... Bro, why are you self-reporting? <laughs> I'm not hiding anything at all. You're the sneaky one. What do you want? <sighs> I won't talk to you if you don't tell me why you're here. I heard that there are some problems on the space station. Ruan May is asking me to recover the leaked experimental specimens. I'll solve the space station's problems. So, I really can't say anything about her. I'll solve the space station's problems! Oh, that. You've got pretty good contacts <laughs> if you know that already. <laughs> the space station is a mess. Everyone's already swamped as it is. And now, out of nowhere, there's a bunch of little creatures popping up. Oh, perfect. If you want to solve the problem, go check out the storage zone. Then you'll understand. All right. I'll go solve the problem. Lance Foward. I love Stell's VA. No, okay, wrong area. It's fine. All right, where my, where the little guys, where the little buddies at? There's so many people. This seems to be the place. All right. Hey, guess what I got my hands on? Where in the street is that this is the downgraded version of Ron May's life cultivation formula. Damn, the downgraded formula? Or the downgraded version? It says, 10 carats of ingenuity, one ton of practice, 30 particles of Starquake, and a few drops of poisonous liquor for Madame Yu Tintu. Rumor has it that it once created a talking chair. Not a particularly intelligent one, but boy, did it have a sharp tongue. They dismantled it and used it for firewood. Can you believe it? Yeah, this sounds like Caleb. <laughs> Let's give it a shot, shall we? First things first, we need to pick up the ingredients. A constantly burning passion, a confidence that came out of nowhere, courage to drink two bottles of Capo Kali in one go. Um, constantly burning passion, confidence that came out of nowhere. I'm gonna go with confidence that came out of nowhere. Hmm. We need to add some other good stuff in, yeah, but don't go overboard. IQ, EQ, beauty. Mm. And now we mix them together. <laughs> Wait, it says on the recipe, Ruan Mei makes different expressions when nurturing life. Oh? Ruan Mei frowns, the corner of Ruan Mei's mouth twitches. Ruan Mei is suppressing her emotions or Ruan Mei is expressionless. I'm gonna go with mouth twitches. Yikes. Take a look at what you just called. Hey, why yikes? What the? You have nurtured a copy of five nut milk flavored life form? Hey, he's kind of cute. Why is he? Why is he barking? Why is he barking? He looks like a cow. Why is he barking? Ron May likes to listen to the space station radio during her research. <sighs> Some of us younger researchers are her super fans. We're always scanning different frequencies to find out what her tastes are. Do you know her favorite tunes by any chance? Her favorite tune. Ron May likes to listen to new style opera. She likes to listen to new style stories. I'm gonna go opera. Mm, no idea. I just listen to comedy skits. So, I really can't <laughs> say anything about her. <laughs> you make As talk. expected. You look like you belong in a comedy skit yourself. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, I'll show, that's, I'll show you comedy. I got a big lance. It's not gonna be funny when I skewer you like a kebab. I heard Madame Ranme is very picky when it comes to snacks. Uh, do you know what her favorites are? Wait, this voice is really familiar. Who is this? 
Wait, who is this? That 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 NPC had like that was such a familiar voice. Was that Jing Lu? That was Amelie, right? I don't know about her, but I love fermented herring. So, did I ask about your favorites? Also, <laughs> that's disgusting. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Molten cheese tart is the best. Its outlook is infectious. Its positive mood has influenced us all. What's our slogan again? One, stop complaining. Is this good Change your attitude and use the delicious molten cheese tart to stop the flow of negative energy. That is 100% Gwen I fed. Two, energize yourself. Increase your capacity for action and walk on the path of a molten cheese tart's absolute conviction. Our creed, molten cheese tart is the best. And this is Dr. Ratio. I this is Dr. Ratio. Wait, is that Sampo? That sounds like Dr. Ratio. Oh, praise be. You don't know. Molten Cheese Tart is Madame Ron May's top fan. This is how it preaches. Those who offer their love are expressing admiration and affection for Miss Ron May. <laughs> What about Screwlum's followers? What about Ste uh, Stevens? Uh, go Screwlum. Oh, let me tell you something. Mr. Screwlum's followers are all very logical, but they're just very awaiting logical. the arrival of the mechanical aristocracy. Hmm. Since you're so interested, I'll tell you how to secure an audience with Why the honorable like melted cheese tart. You'll need to work hard to get there. You need to plaster hearts wherever Madame Ron May plaster has been. Plaster hearts? If you're sincere enough, the honorable molten cheese tart will show itself. <laughs> Why is he talking like this? Molten cheese tart. Okay. Ron May, member 81 of the Genius Society. A resounding name in science and the veritable epitome of life form is cultivation. That well? Researchers here have heard so much about her for so long. That's well, right? But once she arrived on the space station, she just took over everything. And what did Madame Hurt to do? Absolutely nothing. No, this is well. This is 100% well. Herta is spoiling Ruan May. Never fear. The galactic baseballer is here. Never fear, the galactic baseballer is here. You could hear slightly in her voice that like she was trying not to laugh. I can't even say that. <laughs> Perform a mysterious summoning ritual. Oh, I have to. Oh, do I have to kill it? Please spray graffiti on the target. Okay. I'm gonna give you a blue heart. Okay. Incorrect location? Hello? Oh. I think that's eight, right? Okay. All right. Now what? Okay, now what? There's eight. 
Now what? Will of preservation. F isn't doing it. Okay. All right. Oh, he's cute. Um, so this is the little life form Run May made? That is her child, Stell. Treat it with respect. <laughs> A researcher appears out of nowhere next to you. I am humbled to meet the molten cheese tart. <gasps> Why did... I am humbled to meet the molten cheese tart. <laughs> Why did he breathe like that at the end? What are you frozen in place for? Oh, you don't understand the honorable tart. Oh, I hear Sampo okay. in him now. No worries for situations like this. We've specifically concocted a synesthesia beacon. Activate the synesthesia beacon. Wakaka, I'm a genius. A genius among geniuses. It actually made my voice? Immediately deactivate the specific uh, syne synesthesia beacon. That was way too risky. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and it purrs. Molten Cheese Tot says, Madam Ranme has finally recognized my ingenuity. Bro, I want to squish it. Molten Cheese Tot says, Does Madam Ranme recognize me as a masterpiece? You're so cute. Molten Cheese Tot says, Madam Ranme still has not recognized me as a life form that passes the requirements. Aww. I need to work harder. Oh, such an enthusiastic Molten Cheese Tot. <laughs> such an enthusiastic Molten Cheese Tot. <laughs> There's a kind of attachment reserved for the creator. To the world, you are but one person. But to me, you are the entire world. Oh, Madam Ronme. Damn, Ronme just like abandoned her child like this. Does she pay hey, in custody? You. Yes, you. Don't me? you have anything you want to say to Molten Cheese Tart? You should at least express how you would like to follow Molten Cheese Tart. We wouldn't want to mistake you for an agent of gray bean paste, would we? Wait. He said green bean paste but this says ashy paste there's no way one may would like you you heartless dessert <gasps> no i didn't mean it no no i didn't mean it no 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 i didn't mean it i didn't mean it i just wanted to know what it was gonna say i didn't i just wanted to know what it would say i almost forgot I can't say anything about Run May. You! Shh! Quiet! You were just talking to me. Oh, the honorable molten cheese tart may have a crispy exterior, but deep down inside, it's incredibly sensitive and delicate. Aww. It's working so hard just to get Madame Ron May's attention. You see, the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart has always been fighting against gray bean paste in terms of flavor. The <laughs> Why'd they change Molten the translation? Is a firm believer that people's lives need to be optimistic. They both hope to receive Madame Ron May's recognition and have been working so hard. Hard. How did Ron May make the desserts into life forms? You like the taste of Molten Cheese Tart? I wanna, I want 
to say this because I think this is hilarious. You like the taste of molten cheese tart, but I want to hear what Stell has to say if I mention Ruan Mei. You need to call it the honorable oh. molten cheese tart. Damn. Mm, it's genuinely puzzling. Despite molten cheese tart's remarkable qualities, why hasn't Madame Ron May acknowledged it? It's clear that it yearns for her love. Aww, it wants a mother's touch. What kind of love? Love from the creator to her creation? Familiar love? Doesn't sound right. Romantic love? Definitely not. I romantically love Ruan May. I don't know. Expecting me to understand love is like asking me to map the farthest reaches of the universe. Remember, as long as love is your compass, you're on the right track. And in the wise words of the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart, love must be shouted from the rooftops. It's like that one SpongeBob episode when when SpongeBob's breath really stank and he was like, I'm ugly and I'm proud. And they, they were like screaming it from like all of the places. It's just like that. Can I talk alone with molten cheese tart? That, that depends if the honorable tart agrees to tart. it. Bro, I want to squish it so badly. Oh? The honorable molten cheese tart has agreed. You try to communicate with Ruanmei's creation and get it away. What if we just ate it? Why is there a toilet? You can throw those little monsters in here. Are you serious? I think you're lying. We're not gonna flush it. Dead serious? There's a one-way passage with the other end connected to the storage zone. It's extremely safe. We have to flush the little guy. Wait, can I take this guy with me? <coughs> Okay, well, we have to go flush the little guy. Uh, uh, this way. No, where? <laughs> How do I get out of here? This way. Alright. No, this way. Bro, I don't know how to work those space station. Okay. You realize Ron May's creation cannot be put in at all. Aww. It opens its innocent eyes wide. You now have to explain to it that this has to be done in order to send it back to Ruan May's side. Confess! Why are you stirring up trouble on the space station? Confess! Do you like molten cheese tarts? It seems to believe that this is a flavor that can bring happiness. It seems resentful for being put uh, for being an unqualified life form. It seems eager to achieve achieve great things. It wants to fully embrace its own philosophy and is inviting you to join in. You have to be firm, believing this is the best place for it. Tenderly activate the teleporter. Ca callously? I'm gonna tenderly do it. Ruan May's little life form was ruthlessly flushed down the john. It will be safely transported to the storage zone. 07 soldier. Oh my gosh, she's texting me. Baby girl, how's your progress? Sorry to interrupt. Come back first. An emergency's come up that requires your help. I mean, I mean, when you ask like that, I mean, twirls my hair, <laughs> twirls my hair. Like, yeah, of course, of course, I can, I can, I can come. All right, let's go back to the master control. Oh my god. 
hey. Do they update the beat of the of the of the background music? Dude, her back. God, I I love everyone, babe. You're here. Why'd you say it like that? Ninja called Skrulem and I to the space station to discuss some important topics. She also sent an invite to Steven, but he didn't reply, and Herta didn't seem to want to wait any longer. And now, yeah, screw Steven. I wish for you to attend this meeting with me. Oh, why with me? I don't want Herta to worry herself over these frivolous matters, even though she probably wouldn't care anyway. Just in case, I want someone who will be on my side. In other words, you. Help me. It'll be easy. Just remember, my secret stays with you. Don't pry too much and keep your expressions in check. Oh my god. All right. Let me think. Okay, anything for All you? All right. Let's go. Oh gosh, this is a little it's a little stressful. I feel like I'm going into battle right now. Why hasn't Ruan May come? That was that's my herd of voice. been waiting for you. Oh, you're here too? Looks like you two have become quite friendly. Yeah, we're dating now. It's good to see you, madam. God, I love Spoonum's voice. This reunion has happened earlier than my calculations predicted. Though you weren't invited, I welcome you to remember this historical moment. How long has it been since three geniuses were in the same room together? And how long will we have to wait for it to happen again? Dude. Herta only likes geniuses. She has never once sounded this happy ever in any other circumstance. This game has been out for eight months and and she has never shown this much joy. You put her around geniuses and all of a sudden she's all giddy. God, she's stupid phobic. Affirmative. Discounting our discussions on the simulated universe, our interactions are scarce. I look forward to the innovative ideas that may emerge from this juxtaposition of minds. Cheers passionately, bow politely. I feel like still in the situation. I don't have a single like thought in my head. Uh, uh I'm gonna bow politely. I feel like I I I, I don't know. I feel like bowing co politely is like the correct choice. Like. Social circumstancing wise, I feel like it's bow polite. I don't want her to be mad at me. Be the care, but still doesn't cheer. I mean, she goes like noise. One is it? Is it the funnier option? Oh, she's so cute. Let me get straight to the point. There's nothing straight about the situation. Heard of another partner for the simulated universe. You wish to kick Steven out? No, of course not. Steven doesn't want to get involved and voted to abstain. Oh, whatever. Look, <laughs> I respect the way people want to live, but he doesn't have a chance to be involved in this decision making anymore. Question. Are we introducing a fifth partner for the simulated universe? Yes, a fifth genius. Oh, who's the fifth? The reason for our gathering is clear to everyone present. What else could prompt such a gathering of brilliant minds except for the answer? No one can refuse the secret of the eons. Not even Xandar will Who's definitely Xandar? get a response. What if the responder is Polka Kakamond? Who's Polka? That'd be great! Hey, Lord of Silence, are you listening? I'm member number 83, Herda, and I want to meet you. I believe you and I will have a lot to talk about. It's unlikely we'll hear from Polka Kakamond. She's been off the grid for quite some time. Probability, member number 64, Dr. Primitive, may appear. Dr. Primitive? That's a hard pass. Given Dr. Primitive's shady research practices and his tussle with the Galaxy Rangers, the IPC will surely turn this into a media circus. He can get lost. I'd prefer it if the simulated universe remained scandal-free. Yeah, we don't want bad PR, you know. What about you, Ching-Tu? Are you still in touch with her, Ronmei? 
Is she still alive? Can we ask her to leave if we are to discuss this topic? The process will be oh, long I love you. boring. Oh, I There's love you no so need much. To take up other people's time. Oh, oh, Ruan May, I love you so much. You, you understand. Oh my God, she gets it, dude. She gets it. Of course, you brought her in after all. It's up to you. Wait, do I have all to right. leave? Let me walk you out. Oh, okay, we're just leaving. Okay. And what the heck is this? I've never seen this before. Seems like a programming error. Wow, never in my simulated universe. Oh, this fragment of Ruan Mei. Have you seen it in the simulated universe before? Oh, it's like this. Should I say yes? Is yes the better answer? My true honest to God answer is no. Simulated universe is my home. Ugh. I'm speaking nonsense again. <laughs> it's probably an isolated glitch. <laughs> Fine. Oh, this I is need cute. you to turn a blind eye to these things. It makes life easier. I am curious, though. Are you going to keep it, Ronme? I probably will. Records indicate she likes this occurrence. You know, if I ever saw it, yeah, I would love it. If I ever had a chance. Yeah, what records? What records are you looking at? Because I haven't seen it. All right, I agree. As long as it helps you with your research, you can do whatever you want. Come along. I'll see you out. Oh my god. Yes, I'll come. It appears I was overthinking things. Impulsive behavior is pretty characteristic of her, after all. God, the way she walks is so... Thankfully, it was just a minor scare. Still, meetings give me such a headache. It seems I'll have to stay put for a while. Do you want anything for your headache? I can give you water. I can get you a snack that's not drugged. Um, I can bring you your child. I see that you've recovered the life form in the master control zone. Thank you. Well done. Please call me a good girl. I didn't end up saying anything. Is there something I should I shouldn't hear? Um no, you misunderstand. While Herta is tied up in meetings, you might find it more convenient to roam the space station. There are some things that I must tell you now. If I wait for the meeting to finish, then it might be too late. Mm. The retrieval of my life forms isn't complete yet. There's more than just one, and some are stored in a sealed zone. Bruh. Herta uses that place to welcome visitors from across the stars, or to welcome members of the Genius Society. However, due to the Legion's invasion, it is no longer open to the public. And now my headache is stored there. Do you have more children that I don't know about? There are other zones in the space station, so Herta gave you permission to use this place? She gave me permission and said no more. I'm giving you my access card. Give me your hand, and I'll input oh. your fingerprint into it. Oh, oh, you want my hand already? Stay vigilant, assistant. Should you come across a threat you can't handle, just alert me. I'll come to your aid no matter what. Remember, there is a giant incubator in the middle of the zone. That's where my headache is stored. Once you're back, come find me on the railway platform. Then you'll understand everything. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Hello? Three geniuses stood in front of a table. All right, let's go. Take the elevator. All right. What would a sealed zone look like? It would look like a zone that's sealed. Insane, I know. Ooh. Do 
Remember when Ruan May's fingers were at her neck? That was crazy. They were crazy for that. That's not creepy. <laughs> oh shit! All of this happened, entered safe zone. Where? Ooh, this is new music. Ooh. I'm checking for I'm checking for chests. Aw yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, new zone, new chests. Ooh, this theme is nice. Uh, nothing over here. Oh, hey, little guys over here. Buzz. Buzz? What's up with this unit? It looks different from the one in the master control zone. Yeah, he's like haunted. Buzz, Madam Herta, open zone. Buzz, to welcome alien species, galactic visitors. High risk zone. Buzz, service Buzz. staff, inorganic life forms. Buzz. Buzz. Permission status. Madam Ron May. Permissions granted. Madam Herta, fine. As long as it keeps her happy. Buzz. Buzz. Why are you here? What is the zone for? Class one, clearance zone. Buzz. Many esteemed guests. Buzz. May include dangerous persons. Buzz. Buzz. Storage for Madame Herta's dangerous curios. Buzz. Madame Ron May's cultivated life forms. Buzz. Welcome. Buzz. Visitor, how can I help? Classify classification of the robot's jobs map. Basement one, transit hub. Basement two, shuttle, incubator, dangerous oh, curious we need shuttle storage. Two. Buzz, corridor, danger. Buzz, welcome, visitor. I want to see visitor logs. Madam Ron May. Buzz, alien species. Buzz, that is all. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I think I could destroy that. All right. All right. It's fine. Ooh, chest. Ru, I may love that for me. We're going down. I'm yelling timber. Dun, dun, dun. Bro, how long is this? Ooh. Oh, where'd the planet go? I was looking at that. Oh, a chest, bro. I want it right there, right for me. Oh. Uh, you give the area scans. Most terrifying place. Oh, this isn't good. Wait, what's this way first? I mean, this is just like a little sussy, you know? Stopping me from exploring. Oh, is that Rumay's egg? Her incubator? That where all the babies come from? Alright, let's go here. We have access. Entered the safe zone. What? How do I. Is that a pressure cooker? Literature review. Okay. 
Alright, let's just investigate. The kindling for the face flame is fascinating. Unfortunately, before the research could be completed, it vanished. I've initiated new attempts. The growth status of the two samples this time is promising. I incorporated personal taste preferences into the concept, but I'm uncertain about the outcome of such an action. They simultaneously possess two sets of emotional traits. They are at once cute. You know who Ruan May gives me the vibes of? Sensitive, yet are also fierce. She gives me um, demanding and confident. L from Death Note, with like the sweets. Interestingly, they also possess a kind of inclination, a yearning for their creator. That's you. It manifests as a natural, inherent emotion, similar to that of a baby towards its mother, life towards sustenance, or the peculiar bond between humans. Huh? What's that sound out there? That sound? What is it? Aww! It's so cute! <laughs> this is the headache Runmei mentioned? Wait, that's so cute! It's just a different flavor. Meow. Meow. It refers to itself as ashy paste. Are you hiding in the desert? In, in the dessert? You're pretty scary! Meow. Meow. It claims to be connected with its shell. Oh my god, I want to squish it so badly. It looks deeply distressed, crying profusely. Let's activate this. And... Oh. <laughs> I'm not one of Run May's recognized works. <laughs> Too much negative energy. Don't like negative energy. <laughs> You're a genius in your own way. Everyone feels down once in a while. Run away. <laughs> That's me. That's me. Run away. It seems deeply remorseful, and there's a glint of resentment in its eyes, as if it yearns for Juan May's acknowledgement. <laughs> you gaze at Ruan May's What was what was that? You gaze at Ruan May's creation, which appears to be waiting sadly for Ruan May to come uh, to come get it. A hint of compassion tugs at your heart. What's that noise? Uh Um Follow me. It'll be okay. I need to find a place for this little one. That sound seems to be from that. Oh, uh, what was that? How do I get? We got a little meow following us. Meow. Uh, it seems to sense your fear and starts humming a song for you. <gasps> that is adorable. Uh, another chest here. Well, don't mind if I do. It's like it's like going like it's probably going meow 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 meow. That's the song of the cat singing for us. Who 
How dare that thing just show up in front of me? The actual mm. audacity. Eternal. Oh, A dead space reference? The I don't think I've ever... I don't think I know what that is. <laughs> God, I love... Reach the end of the story in your own way. Thank you, Stell. up girl <laughs> cute that's painful would you lose a 50 50 to run yes. okay lol oh well we're bad um thank you uh trevor for the biddies uh too much dog thank you for the prime sub uh solace tea thank you for the prime sub as well thank you guys stand still and ash chat thank you for the tier one and Sven, Time thank you for the tier one as well. No, I'm going back and looking at them. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, I missed. It's fine. Turn out your pockets. Turn out the pockets. Enjoying yourself? Yeah, I'm having a peachy time. Lance at the ready. <laughs> Eternal. Every petal oh, will this? be swept oh, away by the wind. We love the Gwai stick. How dare you? Oh, it died. Okay. Reach the end of the story in your own. You guys didn't have you guys didn't have that thought? No? Oh. Is there no place for us where you're going? I never imagined there'd be so many Aww. of them. Oh, they're little guys! They're just little guys! Oh, there's a- that's a- You're here too? Seems like this is the other end of that one-way path. Where'd they get flushed in? The final days that member number 23, Acha, spent in the Acha. mechanical city showed me that even the longest of lives such as hers, have a limit. I'm now certain that the outcome of this cultivation is... failure. Life can exist in thousands of different forms, which means the form itself has no purpose. These life forms are very advanced in their own concepts, and can even trigger chain reactions such as synesthesia. Damn. But that is not what I desire. Dale. I'm starting to feel lost. Perhaps the question, what is the essence of life? Never had an answer. Number one, Sandar. Have you ever felt this loss? Oh. 
Oh, I have to go this way. Are you telling me to keep going? Bro, there's so many chests here. This is so sexy. Life is countless and varied in form. I firmly believe in that. Its beauty is like a myriad of flowers, and I want to pluck the one that never wilts. The patterns of all things always have complicated and enchanting exteriors, while their inner essences remain simple and plain. If we were to trace things back to their roots, just one equation would be enough to solve the confusion of all life. Ever since I was a child, I have always delighted in observing aspects of microscopic creatures, such as the speed with which slime oh so devour objects. I have also gazed far and wide across the macroscopic world, investigating the progress of the universe up to this day. It was all very simple. I wish to discover the true essence of life, something that all individuals possess unknowingly, whether it is the materialism of their existence or an unknown entity beyond corporeal realms. To avoid blind faith in science, I cautiously raised a query. Would Ram May be able to peel away external influences? Just like pinpointing a coordinate, would she be able to uncover life's most primordial and beautiful form of existence? I thought of one life form that would truly lie beyond my reach. And that is... And that is... Yeah. An eon. An eon! She wants to cultivate an eon! Oh my god! Forget your wallet? Well, am I playing <laughs> Lethal Company right now? <laughs> because it sure feels like it. Oh no. Stand still. <laughs> they do like little yippies. Relax. Time to say bye. Boom. Do I have a mono quantum team done? Yeah, I do. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Oh, you just opened up this path. Okay. Just making sure we didn't miss anything. Oh, plants. Lovely. Oh my god, another rice cooker. Pillows with helixes on them. Look with your eyes, not your hands. Okay. Meow. Meow. Read the record. The duration of sunlight exposure is a crucial factor affecting mood. Basking in sunlight has been proven to be an effective method to alleviate negative emotions. Hmm. Sounds fitting. Accommodate the ashy paste. Uh, stay here for a bit. Oh, we're giving him sunlight? What's going Did on? Did something just open? Erm. Um. Erm. Um. What was that? What was that? Um, wait, I want to just I'm gonna look. There's a chest up there first. Yeah, yeah, I knew it. Okay, I'll go back down. Uh. Hidden room. Buzz. Only Madame Ron May has permissions. Please submit your ID. Oh, Buzz. she gave me exclusive permissions because we got married. Permissions granted. Buzz. Select from the below services. Robot One, frying cold rice. Historical incubation records. Two. Inorganic life form companionship chat service. This function has been damaged. Buzz. Okay. Is this? 
I thought of one life form that oh. would truly lie beyond my reach. This is giving um evil evil mad scientist vibes. I will say that much. Um I'm taking a screenshot real quick because she's hot. Um she's really hot. And I I need I need to take a screenshot of that. Uh but she's kind of giving Loki Mobius vibes from Honkai Impact 3rd. But like I think she she feels less evil than Mobius. I don't know. I feel like Mobius is a little bit more demented. Like, I, I feel like she has more... I don't know, she she feels less evil. I, I don't know how to explain it. Gosh, she's so pretty. This is really pretty art. And that is... An emanator. An emanator? An emanator. I cannot comprehend what an emanator is. Scholars view them as the executors of the Eon's power. So, when did it begin? And at what point did they become closer to the Eons than any other life form? At first, I tried to create a genius. I failed. That question has no solution yet, and a long journey of discovery still lies ahead. However, oh, so erudition pretty. isn't the only path in the universe. If we set logic aside, would there be more primitive and pure emanators on other paths? Of course there would be. Oh. Hazy Ronda. I was able to see the beginning and end of the swarm disaster through the simulated universe, obtain data on the Imperator Insectorum and their descendants, replicate them, nurture them, and create a brand new scientific discipline. It is a logical decision. I will certainly succeed. The entity that I reconstruct will bloom into a life never before seen. Will Herta and Skrulem like this experiment? Most likely not. Bruh. Therefore, before they realize what I am doing... Um... Rame, baby girl, I feel... Like, if you, if you need to try to hide it from them, maybe it's not... Uh, that good of an idea uh, j just a thought uh, th that that is that is a thought in my head emanator i hardly know her i must hurry my work as well as find a fitting assistant i'm hey hi i'm assistant i am i am fitting assistant assistant permission granted buzz Select from the below services. One, check visitor records. Two, open incubator entrance. Oh, we could open the entrance? Madam Ron May, the alien species, man with. Seems like there's something new. Man with plastered head. Permission granted. Buzz. That sounds coming from above. Wait, man with plastered head? Erm. Um. Oh, more enemies. I got the chest. Can All talk will be about? swept away by the wind. Oh, there's one the room I was in? Okay. Not a scratch. Okay, when we kill this. <laughs> Eternal. Okay, I didn't go in here. Is that all? Yeah, is that all? 
That's it. However much you gave me, that's it. Bruh. Bruh. That was close. That was a little close. He almost got me there. But he didn't. Existence is unity. <laughs> Time to say bye. Boom, boom. Oh, it was funny. Earlier today, uh, I was I was talking uh, to like reach the end of the story in um, your own way. Oh my god! I was talking to you know like Brax, Molly, Sam, Rin, and. We were like saying like, oh, we're just gonna keep saying all like the voice lines. And Sam was like, oh, I think you guys know the voice lines like more than like we the voice actors do. And and Molly was like, Mina E6 Seely, but only knows disappear among the sea of butterflies. And I was like, do you even have any other lines? But then I was like, in in all honesty, I usually just auto with Kafka because her boom is quieter. So it's it's not as much of a nuisance to have on in the background. <laughs> Instead of just hearing disappear among the sea of butterflies every four seconds, I'd rather just hear like a boom and then it just moves on. <laughs> Am I wrong? Why don't we go this way first? Let me just kill this. Despair. Time to say bye. Boom. You can just mute? No. I, I need to hear when it's over so I can reset the auto. Is there anything else over here? Oh. Oh, there was. Oh, we're here. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, oh, we're going up, okay. All right, ooh, wow, look at the stars, they're gorgeous. Wow, is that Earth? Why are there two hurricanes? Bro, why is there two hurricanes? Do you guys see that? Is this planet okay? Oh uh, yeah. Oh, uh, huh? I There's someone in the distance. Who is that? Who's that Pokémon? It's Dr. Ratio. Oh. What is this music? Hmm. What is this music? Here, a genius move. And how will you counter it? <sighs> Only an idiot would ask such a question. Just move this here. Hmm. Uh. Uh, is he <laughs> battling himself? <sighs> you look distressed. Um. Something the matter? Uh. If that's the case, uh, you better get thinking. Are you waiting for a sign? Time is ticking. Descend via the elevator. What you seek is there. Who are you? Why are you here? You know what I'm looking for? Have you considered whether the answer to your question will be of any relevance to our current predicament? Is... can he breathe in there? Like, is this comfortable? If a question is of no help, then don't ask it. Time is clearly precious to the both of us. <sighs> Never mind. Allow me to clarify something. I know exactly who you are. Oh my god. And I'm aware you are in Ron May's employ. This was not my intended destination. 
I just happened to find my way here during my visit and saw what she was up to. Oh. My goals are roughly aligned with yours. Since you're here, I, don't I won't like this mask. intercede. But should you fail, I will be forced to prevent some avoidable misfortunes. That's that all mean? you need to know. Just two paragraphs. Very effective communication. I mean, I guess. You're not a bad person after all. Why do you wear an alabaster hat? <laughs> <laughs> because I can't bear to see idiots. <laughs> of course, they wouldn't want to see me either. <laughs> the real Ron May's creation is hidden in the giant incubator below us. <laughs> oh, Go. He's funny, I like Take him. Take the elevator and bear witness to this genius masterpiece. This genius masterpiece. Oh yeah. And we're going down. Oh, I was getting ready to call out uh, the world for not being accurate if we saw the uh, the world again, the water world, but they were accurate and did not show it on this side of the elevator. Oh, 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 we're going on the side. Station has an area this big. Wow. Oh, that sounds like a, that looks like a safety hazard. <laughs> I'm still so cute. Oh, is that honey? Don't eat it, Stell. Ew. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, that's a cool <laughs> shot. Ayo, the baseball's back! An emanator of propagation clone? How can that be? Oh, this BGM! Wait, 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 this BGM? Oh, this goes so hard. Stand still. Lance at the ready. Defend the weak. Oh, defend the weak. You hold some act. All things are at one. Alright, Rua May, destroy your child. That breathing sensation. Remember it. Ooh. Um, wow, imagine I wasn't the most goaded preservation what? unit ever. Relax. I don't need Clem. Never too early for a happy new year. Indestructible. Oh, Romay's not gonna get her ult up, huh? He'll do. No, it's fine. Stand we'll just pop ult. Good time. And then he'll die. Never last. Time to say bye. bye. Boom. Boom. Oh, only 52k. Oh. There's a phase two. They destroy the space station. Breaking its May weakness. Well, kill them all. well, shit. I don't have anything to break. I have. I'm running a dot team and not a break team. Oh no. I'm on guard. 
well, we're gonna we're gonna do this, Capture. and we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go forward. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna lance forward. Lance ablaze. We're gonna lance forward. Flaming lance. Forward. Um. Um. Please stop. There's more to life than drawing breath. Pay attention. Oh, this music is so good. Um, why are they targeting our girly pop one knife? Um, um, Okay. We're gonna break this bitch over here. Stand still. Okay. You okay. hold some um, academic every petal in life's garden. Okay. Will be swept um. away. By the wind of time. Okay. Uh. Uh. Eternal melody. We're gonna just destroy them Good with Costco. With Costco. That's exactly what we're about to do right now. It's fine. Mm. We're fine. Right? We're- it's fine. Don't attack your mother. Don't- don't attack your- Why is there another one? That, that is your mother, stop it. Oh gosh. Oh, 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 lordy. I'm on guard. Oh, 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 they all have ice weakness on them, huh? Indestructible. Let's taunt. There's more to life than drawing breath. You'll do. Relax. Um, we're in danger. We're fine. It's where it's that breathing sensation. We're fine. We're yeah. Yeah. Oh god. No, no, stop. Please. Oh, Cell is so good. Oh god. Oh, 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 good Lance lord. Oh, get your shield back up. Flaming oh, oh gosh. Oh, 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 oh no. Erm. Erm. Okay. Okay, okay, they're attacking. Okay. Um. We're fine. We got shields back up. We got shields back up. We're good. You hold some academic value. We're fine. We're fine. It's it's fine. Every petal in life And we're gonna cough ult again, away. and then he's gonna die. We're gonna we're gonna cough We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna cough go ult again, and then and then and then they're gonna die. Good times never last. We're fine. Time to say bye. Boom. Boom. Oh gosh, that didn't do enough damage. I thought it was gonna do more damage. I thought it was gonna do more damage, and it did not do as much damage as I thought it was going to do. Costco, why you not do more damage, Queen? It's fine. No, no, we're good. We're good. Oh, we're so good. We're in. We, we did it. Woo! Woo! Oh, this is cool. Is that a black hole? Oh, what happened? After 56 seconds, the creature was unable to sustain its own existence and vanished as if it had never been born. That was 56 seconds? Hmm. The threat is over. Time to get going. <laughs> I 
Is it over? I need to get some answers out of Run May. Yeah, you do, Queen. Uh, that. Whew. 56 seconds, man. That felt like forever. This is why they call me Three Second Mino, dude. That was 56 seconds was an endurance run. All right, let's go over here. Oh yeah, Ruan May should be over here, right? Oh my god, my queen. Hey, oh, we're just in it? Okay. Oh my god. The meeting of geniuses is over. As for the future of the simulated universe, that conclusion isn't important. What's important is your task. Oh, Estelle looks angy. You look... upset, correct? I regret my actions. There's no defending what I've done. Time and again, my experiments have fallen short, and they've always yielded predictable results. I made a clone, but it... doesn't hold a candle to the Emanator. It died on its own. You didn't have to lie to me. Yeah, why you lie to me? How should I have explained it to you? I'm not good at communicating with others. Oh my god, you're fine. I forgive you. Like, oh, she looks like a sad, like, she looks like a sad, like, puppy. Like, wait, she actually, like, I felt like, I, I don't know, I saw, like a, like, a, like, a flash of guilt on her face. Restrained by time and place, its code of life could only be considered an incomplete attempt. I managed to replicate the moment it was born. However, it would soon disappear and be reduced to particles. If she was not hot, you would not be so forgiving. Okay, yeah. It's called pretty privilege. She has it. <laughs> like every living being, it inevitably faced its demise as it journeyed towards the end. I find no fault in that. However, even the briefest life should have meaning. I want to know the limits of its capacity. It will indicate how far I've gone in a field completely incomprehensible to me. <laughs> and it was a minuscule step. Just as I had predicted. It almost ate me. Are you going to keep researching? What about life uh, outside of research? It almost ate me. All still. <laughs> I did say that if a danger proved too great for you, I would personally step in to confront it. I want to be upset at her. I... I... I want to be upset at her. I do. But I also... Okay, Stel's like, it almost ate me, like, you know, mad, mad, mad face. And then, like, Rome is like, I'll be the only one eating you tonight. You know, like, I, I just, like, I don't know. Like, she's so, like, confident. She's like, I would have stepped in. Like, don't worry. Like, you know? I must admit, I'm not fond of scenarios where everything aligns perfectly with my expectations. An experiment should have its unforeseen twists. And that's where the joy lies. Even the most predictable storylines can have their pleasant surprises. Was I your pleasant surprise? I have to admit that these little ones born in the process Aww. sometimes move me. She has emotion. Oh, like she she feels guilt. Wait, she feels the guilt of abandoning them. Oh my god, you can become a better mom. It's okay. We can, we'll go to we'll go to family therapy. I see a human-like response in them. It is a concept completely opposite to that of divinity. They have emotions. Emotions may be either positive or negative. However, the love rooted in the depths of their heart is eternal and unchanging. They are still a long way from becoming geniuses and are therefore unable to discern whether this love is one of friendship, romance, or familial love. That being said, can even geniuses tell the difference? I cannot at least. I do not understand what love is, and 
cannot respond to their feelings. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Do you believe my actions were wrong? I mean, they weren't right. But... There's no need to tell me your answer. Oh, I, I just... Oh, I was going to. felt like asking the question. How should I take care of them? Perhaps leaving them at the space station is the best choice. Girl, they, they want to be with you. Do I seem irresponsible? I'm sorry. I am often at a loss as to how to face my own creations. Oh my god. <laughs> Truly the worst mother of the year. The effects <laughs> of the anti-truth serum will also wear off. If others mention me to you in the future, you can answer however you like. Or even pretend you never knew me. No, I know we're, 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 we got married. After all, your memory of me will soon dissipate like smoke. Memory dissipate? Over time, hidden truths tend to surface. Past traumas, which I'd rather leave behind, have made me skeptical about trusting anyone but myself. If I do not want a secret revealed, the most foolproof way is to destroy it. The anti-truth serum will make you forget I don't want to forget we spent together. It won't take effect immediately. Also, the time we spent together, that's a little tangible process. Like the sweet fragrance of lotus leaves, plum blossom, sticky rice, and frosting sugar. Perhaps you'll remember someone performed selfish experiments on the space station, but you will no longer remember their identity. Perhaps we'll meet again someday, but you won't be able to connect me with the recollection. In that way, the connection between life forms will be erased. Friendships, secrets, grudges, lies. All will disappear. It's such a lonely way to live. It will make our lives more relaxing. No, I won't forget you. I believe you. Is she lying to me? Screwlem will stay on the space station for a while longer. He and Herta still have problems they need to solve. As for me, I'm leaving soon and won't bother with goodbyes. You could tell me goodbye. Do you still remember the no man's land I mentioned? I'm considering a solo trip back there during my research downtime. Just to see how things are. I miss member number 55 reaching to sometimes. She used to always make something delicious for me to drink every time we parted ways. I hope I won't meet member number four Polka Kakamond. I want to meet number four. They sound that hilarious. Would be quite troublesome. Who knows when the next gathering of geniuses will be? Do you have anything else you want to say to me? You were a wonderful experience. Do you trust me now? I hope you'll come back to and visit your creations. I feel like if I ask, do you trust me now? She'll just say yes to pacify me. But, but I feel like number two, like, are, are you going to come like see your children? Like they, like they, they yearn for their mother. I promise I will, Miss Assistant. Aww. If fate allows and you're interested, upon our next meeting, we could journey to no man's land and traverse its tranquil glaciers. Are you asking me on a date, Miss Ronme? No, I suppose it wouldn't be no man's land anymore. What a conundrum. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so cool. <sighs> oh! <laughs> Pet them. Pet them. Huh? <gasps> she's guys. She's not evil. She smiled. Oh my god, the way that she does. Like, oh, ah! 